Hello there, YouTubers. Well, another one of those crazy evenings. Clock is not showing the right time at all. Wish it was still that early in the day. A lot more time left to do things. Anyway, waiting uh, for this IBM ThinkPad 570 to install Windows 2000 Professional. Not sure if it's even going to make it through. It's currently formatting the hard disk drive, and the hard disk drive seems to have some Linux bullshit going on. Grub uh, popped up with a message. Had some trouble with that on this computer, and uh, was quite an adventure to get that off of there, so... Yeah. Wherever I'm encountering Linux, it's only causing trouble. Anyway, that's not the uh, that's not the topic of this video. The topic of this video is this. Well, what is that, you may ask? Any guesses now? Well, this is another one of those uh, weird flashlights with a built-in dynamo, and. The thing is, first of all, it doesn't want to go back together. Okay, there we go. Uh, the thing is, it doesn't work anymore. Um, it does have a battery built in, lithium battery. Uh, that's a great lithium battery. <laughs> this thing's just a couple of months old. But, um, yeah, that's Chinese quality for you. Anyway, um, so it does not work. So I thought we'd go ahead and take a look inside and see what's going on in there. It does have a couple of screw holes right there. So let's take out the screws and see if we can pop this open. Maybe we can find some useful parts. I can definitely use those LEDs in there. Well, seems like we do have some interesting parts in there. We have a little gearbox and uh, as you can see quite an interesting construction. This is where the handle grabs. It does have another gear on there. And then there is obviously a bunch of gears in there. Then we have this tiny little dynamo right there. So uh, it's quite interesting. Tiny little wires, but uh, of course they don't, uh, they don't have to carry too much of a big load. Anyway, there is more inside of there, this rubber part, so let's see if I can get that to come apart. Well, getting this to open up definitely took me some good arguments, <laughs> but uh, there we have the, uh, the central part and uh, so you can see we have the three LEDs. We have a uh, little lithium button cell, rechargeable. 2011 it says on there, so, well, it did last a bit longer than I thought, but <laughs> of course that's not, uh, that's not exactly the kind of lifetime that you're looking for with these things. But um, we just take that apart. You can see there is a uh, bit more circuitry going on than just that. As you can see, on the back we have a couple little parts. So, uh, well, let me just take a closer look so we can see what these are doing. Okay, well, that was not a big problem. These are, in fact, diodes. They do have a little stripe facing in one of the one direction. Might be able to see that four diodes, of course a full wave rectifier that uh, rectifies the AC coming from the generator so that it can then go ahead and charge the lithium ion battery and then this little switch right here turns the LEDs up front on and off. So well, it's quite a simple design I guess. But uh, yep, there you have it. That's what's inside one of these uh, flashlights with built-in generator.